Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I'll show you how to fix the no Python interpreter uh, configured for the module error in your Android Studio and run a Python code. So I'll take you step by step. First, I'll show you when this error will come. Let me begin. Let me start my Android Studio. It may take a while and then create a simple app or simple project, not an app where I'll try to put a uh, Python code. So Python code in Android Studio. So my aim is not to create a application, but it's more to show how you can enable or how you can write a Python code in your Android Studio environment. So in the meantime, when it's loading the environment, uh, one thing what you can do is you can first install the required plugins. Okay, so go to settings and plugins and over here in the search bar, you can just search for Python and you'll get something called Python Community Edition. So you can install it and if it's installed and not enabled, just click on this for it, you enable it and then click OK. So it's asking you to restart the Android Studio, just click here and it will restart the Android Studio in that particular plugin. So let's wait for it to come up. So the Android Studio has started, but it's still loading the environment. So we, we may have to take a we'll wait a while. So the environment is loaded now. So what I'll do is now I'll show you when that error particular error will come up. So that error comes whenever you want you try to create a Python uh, script uh, for your uh, in your uh, project so just go to any folder so here i am trying to create a python uh, file in my root folder app folder and click on new and you'll get this option of python file and you can name this file anything probably i'll name it as add numbers because i'll be creating a, a python version to add two numbers so i will just copy this code where will take two inputs x and y and return x plus y so if you notice the moment you have added or you have updated this file this particular error comes up however i will first try to complete this code so after this probably i'll do one thing i will create a local uh, variable where i call this add numbers and then probably print answer so over here if i want to run this Python script in my Android Studio, it's giving this error that there is no interpreter of I Python is configured. So what to do it or how to solve it and then probably how to run it. So a steps are simple. Just go to tools menu and over here you will get this option of sync Python requirements. Just click on this and it will ask which uh, particular interpreter. So there is al already a uh, interpreter Python 3.12. I think that's the local installation of Python I have or otherwise you can also click on this and add a local interpreter but in this case I'll just select this and if you notice boom that error message is gone it will take a while if you've added a new Python a new interpreter but otherwise for me it was like pretty straightforward and then to run this I don't think I can just quickly uh, run this because over here uh, I should have selected the Python so I can do one thing just go to the run menu and over here just go here and yeah over here you have to select this to run and perfect if you notice it will run your add numbers it's changed over here and the output is here which is 5 plus 3 probably i will change something to here to 9 and now the output should be 12 right so let me see so now this options comes here you can click on this and it will run it in the uh run console uh, in the below and give the output over so that's how I wanted to show you uh, how you can run a Python script in Android Studio is pretty straightforward. So the steps are like you have to first enable the plugin. You can go to the plugins and uh, over here and enable this particular plugin which is called Python Community Edition. And once you've done it, then write your Python script wherever you want. Uh, so here I've done it in the root folder. Why it is not showing up over here, probably I'll have to switch to the project mode and then that particular file will be visible yeah that's my file over here and uh, then you can write a python script and if that error comes up then you have to just select uh, the python interpreter by going to the syncing python requirements however please note once you do that if you go back to your application it may not work because 
it will not be having the required interpreter for Java. So if that uh, comes up, if any of such error comes up, then uh, the method is simple. You have to just go to your Gradle file and sync it, sync it or otherwise the other option is just go to your file and click on sync project with Gradle file and that should solve the problem. So in my ca case, the app has come up, there is no issue, perfect. So I don't need to do anything, but just telling like in case you face any problem in running the application code, then you have to just go to your file menu and sync with Gradle files. And if it asks, just do the steps, whatever it requires. So, but in this case, both are working fine. So yeah, I can run the app and then I can switch to the Python script and just run it and it will give me the answer to the, my Python uh, uh, whatever uh, code it is. So that's all I wanted to show you how easy it is to add your python uh, script in the android studio project itself and run it uh, from within the project so i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day Bye.